Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm on the third step of my reborning. Um, I already have, like I said, my stuff pre-mixed, but in this I have my Old Less Solvent, my Burnt Umber, my Flesh 04, and my Flesh 08. So right now this is pretty low, so I'm going to add some Old Less Solvent to it. Quite a bit actually, and then I'll just take a bit of the flesh of four. Mix that in well. This kit is very light, so I have to darken it up. And then I'll do a little bit of the flesh 08. Like that. This is a little bit, same amount as the uh, flesh 04. And it still looks a little bit too, it actually looks a little bit too dark for me. So I'll get some more flesh 08, another same amount again. Another on the brush. Just a touch of burnt umber, just a very little. And I'm gonna add actually a little bit more flesh oil again. So that's three of these. Put some more of the solvent in. Now I just want to get my gloves on. And then I'll start on the leg. Okay. So I'll put those away for now. I'll get my sponge for this one, different sponge. Just apply it to there. This one I don't have any of the um, matte varnish on it. I'm just, it's just the four things I have in it. I'm just applying it on there, holding it at the end, and then I'll go on here. And as you can see how light it still is. So although it looks dark here, it doesn't really come out dark here on the leg. So I pounce this on. And I'll do the exact same thing I did before. I'm just trying to get a little darker tone on the doll. And I'm gonna use this again on, at another stage to darken it up even more. So it can get more of our skin color. And always remember to mix. There. Then I'll use my small brush again. That was just my husband passing by. And then over here. So I'm gonna between the toes again. I wanna make sure I have skin all the way between the toes. Now the sponge I use has, um, this time it's not as dense as the other sponge, so it took it a little more quickly. And now I'm just gonna see if there's any um, pooling anywhere. It actually looks pretty good. And I'm making sort of tips get some as well. Okay. 
I want to make sure the paint is all so mixed properly and I'm going to get in between the creases here at the back of the legs so I don't miss that okay just make sure I punch that out Okay, so that is, uh, I just missed a spot here, I notice. So I'm going to put that to dry. I'm going to get another leg here, and I'll just repeat the same thing again for you. And then this has to be baked in the oven again. Sometimes you can apply more than one layer, so if this dries, we can go back in. And I can apply another layer to it. Sorry, the battery's getting low on the camera there. Sorry about that. Anyway, let me get this other one done. So it's the same thing again. I'm going to repeat on this one. Always making sure that you mix. When you get everywhere, you don't miss a spot. I'm going to get behind the toes again, between the toes, top of the toes. Now you'll notice that the kit, once I'm finished again, you're not going to know this much, but slowly you'll see this little girl come to life. And the next time I'm going to bake this and I'm going to apply another coat of this onto here. So then we can get to the next. Adding some color to her. When I do the next tutorial. some pulling in between the toes here. I'm gonna make sure I get that out. Oops. There you go. So everything looks good. And that's it. And I'll come back to you when we start putting the color on. I will get the rest of the body done and then I'm going to um, do another layer and then I'll be back okay thank you have a good day